Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Christy Batista and I'm Joel Skipper. An investigation underway in Baltimore, Maryland after a shooting at a block party left two people dead and nearly 30 others hurt. Right now, three of the victims who survived are in critical condition. Shelly Malashi tells us what happened as police plead to the public to find the person responsible. All of Baltimore is grieving the lives that we lost here and our hearts are with all those who are still recovering at the result of this mass shooting. Tragedy strikes this 4th of July weekend in South Baltimore, Maryland. I want those who are responsible to hear me, hear me very clearly. We will not stop until we find you. An annual block party to celebrate the city's Brooklyn neighborhood ends with gunshots and dozens of people running for their lives. Our hearts and prayers are going out to the families, sending out to the families and friends of these victims as well as the community in our entire city. This is an extensive crime scene. Our detectives are going to be here quite a while. If anyone saw anything or knows anything, please call 911. According to police, nine victims were transported to area hospitals and at least 20 other victims walked into hospitals in the area. Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott is outraged and described the incident as a reckless, cowardly act. It also highlights again the real need to deal with guns and illegal guns and access to them, not just in Baltimore City, but across this country. Maryland Governor Westmore releasing this statement. My heart breaks for these victims, their families, and the Baltimore community that is coping with the loss. Right now, Baltimore investigators are working to find a suspect or suspects, along with a motive for the shooting. Shelly Malashi, WDRB News.